guys happy Wednesday and it's finally April I'm so excited because my birthday is in April I'm one of those wonderful April babies but I am a little sad that I won't get to spend my birthday with any of you guys but it's okay we'll celebrate when we see each other again so for day eight um, it's a little bit easier we're not focused so much on our explanatory essay what we're focused on is answering some constructed response questions okay so for day eight it says once again you're working on your reading log and then they also want us to reread sources one two and three which you are always welcome to go back reread them or play my previous videos where i read them to you um, but for the writing it says complete the attached selected constructed response questions that correspond with sources one two and three so let's go ahead and jump into those questions i'll do my best to help you out and maybe hint at the answer and we'll work from there Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the constructed response questions. So let's go ahead and start with number one. Maya is writing a research report about cy cyber safety. She wants to include information from sources, but does not want to plagiarize the author's ideas. Read the following paragraph from the student's report. Remember we talked about plagiarism last week where you take somebody else's idea and say that it's your own. And so we're going to look through here and let's take a look at her paragraph. It is important for kids to be responsible when using the internet. Each time a child uses the internet, they leave a digital footprint or a record of their online activity. A digital footprint can last forever. Kids are creating a digital footprint if they are participating on social media. In order to leave a positive digital footprint, it is important for our kids to understand the impact of their online activity. Parents, teachers, and other adults have a duty to guide their children in proper online behavior. So now it asks, select the sentence from the paragraph that is plagiarized. So you're trying to find which sentence in here was copied word for word from one of the three sources that we have been, uh, that we read on Monday and Tuesday. So it says, select the sentence from the paragraph that is plagiarized. Each time a child uses the internet, they leave a digital footprint or a record of their online activity. Is it B, kids are creating a digital footprint if they are participating in social media? C, in order to leave a positive digital footprint, it is important for kids to understand the impact of their online activity? Or D, parents, teachers, and other adults have a duty to guide their children in proper online behavior. So once again, you are looking for the sentence that is plagiarized in this paragraph here, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to number two. Maya's report includes a section about parental responsibility in teaching their children cyber safety. Maya is using the three sources, but she wants to cite the most credible source. Which source should she cite? So she's looking for which one of the three sources that we read has a section about parental responsibility and teaching their children cyber safety. So you're looking for the source that says, hey parents, you need to show your kids how to use the internet and social media and all that stuff correctly. So is it source number one, number two, number three, or is it none of them and it's not related to the topic? Okay, so that's up to you to figure out the correct answer. Let's go ahead and take a look at the third question. So on the third question, it says, Maya's report claims that a positive digital footprint is an important factor in college admissions. Write three pieces of evidence from the source that support Maya's claim. So here, let's take a look at her claim. A digital, a positive digital footprint um, has an impact on college admissions. So her claim says that you need to have a good digital footprint in order to be um, accepted into college. And if you don't have one, then they're gonna be like, oh no, we don't want you to be in our college, okay? So you're gonna to have to go back to the three sources that we read and you're gonna look for evidence. If you notice, I have sentence frames because I'm citing evidence from sources. And if we don't have these and we don't put them in quotes, then we're doing what she did in her previous par um, paragraph and we're plagiarizing, okay? So you wanna make sure that you include your sentence starters in there. And once again, you're looking for evidence that supports that having a positive digital footprint is important when applying for college, okay? So all this stuff is here for you. If you um, need to slow the video down, you know you're more than welcome to or press pause. But that is the three questions for today. All right guys, that is it for today. You now have completed day eight. I hope in your heart you're getting super excited because there's only day nine and 10 left. And then you will have a completed packet 
and you'll get to go on to spring break and get a break from me too.